According to recent United Nations research, one in seven Nigerians aged 15 to 64 years has used a drug other than tobacco and alcohol, with drug use prevalence estimated at 14.4%. The report also states that 14.3 million people in this age group used psychoactive substances in the past year for non-medical purposes. This alarming trend has brought together advocacy groups, including the Justice Development and Peace Commission, the Catholic Bishop of Wari Diocese, Most Reverend Dr. Anthony Iwerido, the Police Commissioner, and other critical stakeholders for a seminar titled Dangers of Harmful Drugs and Sensitization on Drug Dependency, Treatment, Care, and Offenses. From the media to the party. The seminar aims to highlight the dangers of drug abuse, its effects on society, drug dependency, and potential solutions for drug demand reduction and harm prevention. Consultant psychiatrist at the University Teaching Hospital, Joss, emphasizes that sensitization alone is not enough to curb drug abuse among Nigerian youths. People do drugs when the school system is poor, there's rejection, there's aggression towards peers, and then there is peer influence and all that because of the lack of care system of parenting that we are practicing. Cartism has also been identified as one of the vices fueling drug abuse, with law enforcement officials noting an increase in crimes linked to this trend. Most of the delivery killings we've recorded is as a result of drug abuse. There was a case that shooted two years ago. Two brothers, in fact, they were the only child, children of that woman. They were living together in a flat and they caught high on Kodi, Shamador, and Lab. One of them died in the room. After his death, the younger brother was still in there. He didn't know the brother was dead. He was feeding him. For three days, he was dead. The body was in the He was feeding him. That is what drove the Catholic Bishop of Wari Diocese, Most Reverend Dr. Anthony Werido, stresses that eradicating drug abuse is a collective responsibility to ensure the future of the Nigerian nation. Every one of us is a stakeholder, individuals and communities, even our, our traditional rulers and traditional institutions and community leaders. We all need to be involved in this because if we can take illegal drugs from our streets, if we can ensure that our young ones are not hooked on these things, then we can guarantee the future of our country. The primary goal of this program is first to create awareness about the drug problem we have in the country, to sensitize people on what drug abuse is, its effects and consequences on individuals and family and the country. The key message from the seminar is that all efforts must be united to protect Nigerian youth from drug abuse and secure a safe future for the country.